accept our person, Amen. that you accept our dance offering, Amen. that you accept our giving offering, Amen. that you accept our tithes, Amen. that you accept our vow, Amen. that you accept our seed, Amen. that you accept our service, Amen. that you accept our sacrifice. Amen. The Bible says, offer unto God a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Today again, Father, accept all the sacrifices Amen. that we bring into your presence. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And there again, as we want to go into your world, open our understanding. Amen. Shape us to your image. Amen. Increase us on every side. Amen. Bless the speaker. Amen. Bless the hearer. Amen. And at the end of today, sorry, let me and everyone here in the room and online be mightily blessed. Amen. Thank you. Sir. Amen. Destroy the works of the enemy. Amen. Saturate this play with the anointing of the Holy Ghost Amen. and with the blood of Jesus. Amen. And neutralize every part of the enemy Amen. from the pit of air. Over the roof of this place Amen. and over the ground of this place. Amen. And over the air that we breathe in. Amen. Saturate and wash and clean them with the blood of Jesus. Amen. 
what every sin and iniquity away Amen. and make our prayer to be answered. Amen. Thank you, Father. Open my mouth like a pen of a red lighter and fill it with your anointed word. Let the word of my mouth be mighty. Amen. Let the spirit of life come upon me. Amen. Let there be precepts upon precepts. Line upon line. Little and little here. Amen. This is the word of God. Glorify yourself. Amen. Thank you, Master Prayer. Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have a Father, Almighty Father, is Lord of Lord. I have a Father. What about you? Hallelujah, Almighty Father is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I have a What about you? Hallelujah, Almighty Father. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. I am a father. Hallelujah. I am a Hallelujah. Almighty Father. He is King of kings. And Lord of God, I am Fafa. Today, my message that I will be speaking today is wonders. Somebody say after me. Wonders. You see, if each, every month I go and ask Lord, what is going to be you know, uh, this month, what are we going to target? And according to the leading of the Spirit, I will put it down. And this month, the Lord told me it is a month of extraordinary wonder. And I can see it. It's, there's no time for me to testify what God has done personally for me this month. It is amazing. It is amazing. And I was not surprised when people were coming out to testify. This sound as an encouragement that God did answer prayer and also refused secret. I was bothered when I see this, my sister, has my wife. This sister is going through, go and talk to her. I said, talk to her. What? She? Nothing. Everything is fine. <laughs> I know something is not fine. But God that knew it, we communicate to the God. And it is always good also, I find out in life, to always surround yourself with the people of God. Yes. It is a great privilege. And we enjoy that. In this church. And God has been hiding to us. Good people. And you can bear me witness. I declare. That God that is backing us up. Will continue to back us in Jesus name. Amen. So when you hear wonder. Remember our text. Exodus chapter 15. Verse 11. Is the one that do things. He said. Who is like unto thee. Who is like unto thee. O Lord. Among the gods. Among the gods. Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises. Doing war wonders. This God does wonders. You will be a fool not to recognize that God is a wonderful God. Because the whole earth is full of his wonder. Who is like 
unto thee, O Lord, who is like unto thee, O God, amongst the God. Whoa, whoa, yes. Who is like the you are glorious in Hallelujah. Yeah. What does he do? He do, do. So remember, whenever you hear wonder, remember our text of today. Remember our text today. Don't limit God of wonders. For he is a wonderful God. No one can be compared to him. He is too much. He is too great. Is greater than the greatest. It's a supernatural God, extraordinary God, the God of Pentecost. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? It's a question that the answer is clearer to everyone. Because there is no one like the Almighty God, the one true God. It's a true God. True to His word, true to His promise, true to His person. I am that I am. Psalm 77, verse 13 and 14 say, That way, O Lord, is in the sanctuary. It's in the sanctuary. Where can you find God? You find Him when you come to His presence. Enter into His presence with thanksgiving and into His court with praises. The Almighty God cannot be challenged by anyone. The Almighty God cannot be compared to anyone. To all God and goddesses. Anyone that challenged God is digging his pit. Oh Lord our God, they are the works of man. You are the living God. There is no like you, oh Lord our God. What they are, they are the words of men. You are the only God. You are the only. You are the only God. There is no, there is no like. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Solomon said in the book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, 23, he said, And he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you, no God like you, in heaven above or in earth beneath, who keepest covenant and mercy with the servant that walk before thee with all their heart. If you walk with all your heart with this mighty God, trust me, you will enjoy beauty for houses. When people are saying, casting down, you'll be here lifting up. 
when people are shouting lack lack you'll be having abundance and abundance when people are laboring and laboring it will be all faithful on your part when there is dryness you will be having a sufficiency this is the god that i'm talking about somebody say wonder it will do it for you Amen. Egypt was notorious with many gods numerous god multitudes of god but the god of wonders the god of hebrews the only true god whose name is called yahweh is too hard is too much for the egyptians to understand and no one can understand God and that is why he make the wise men of this world to become foolish hallelujah yes. when you think you are wise this true God will turn all your wisdom to all foolishness and then it will pick up beggars it will pick up the non-entity the people that you think that they amount to nothing it will pick them up and set them up to confront the wise, to make the diviner mad, to destroy all the powers of the goddess, to shame the witches, the witches and wizard that is the one that rules over everything. This God that darkness and light is the same before him. You cannot hide or you cannot hide for him. He sees everything knows everything his name is Yahweh and the Egyptian do not understand him the almighty God baffled them it baffled their magicians their astrologers and their soothsayer it is foolish thing for you to go to palm reader to go to sorcerer to look for your tomorrow we are the tomorrow they too they don't even know the tomorrow it is God that knows tomorrow. And when you trust this wonderful girl, it makes your life and your life a wonder. I declare that will be your Lord. Amen. I am not bluffing. I am saying the truth. Numbers chapter 33, verse 4. The Bible says, For the Egyptians bury all their firstborn. Uh, because of a bad leader. Who is the leader of your life? Hello? Because the Bible says you will hear, you will hear your the people, you will hear your leader. If the devil is controlling you, it is the devil you will hear. You see, everybody hear what is telling them to do things and they will follow. So who is your leader? That your leader is your God. People that follow the Ephas, Ephah dictate the way they live their life. People that follow the God of thunder, that the God of thunder dictate their life. So they wake up in the morning as the as their goddess has fed them, as their gods fed them, and they sacrifice to their God. Even some people they will begin to dance and begin to praise their. They are graven image that actually they made by themselves because that image was their leader. So he rules over them. So everybody also have somebody inside of him or her that tell him what to do. So who is controlling you? So you are controlled by a spirit that is inside of you. I pray it will not be demon. Amen. Demon will not be telling you because whenever the demon is inside somebody, the devil is inside somebody, it will begin to tell you what is contrary to the will of God. And you cannot bow for the devil. You need to bow for the almighty God that can do wonder and shut the mouth of the devil. I declare from today, you will bow down for God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
the Egyptians under the leadership of Pharaoh and everyone that are under the leadership of Pharaoh, they lost their firstborn because their leader was not agreeing with the word of God to allow the children of Israel to go. So whenever you hear demons or devils telling you to do contrary to the commandment of God, tell them, if you are wise, tell the devil that he should allow you to go and that you are not under his authority. That is not, it's not the one that make you, that the Almighty God make you. And then it is only him that you will hear. Jesus Christ told the devil face to face when he was telling him from his mind, bow down for me. Jesus Christ said, no, it is written that you should not bow down for any other person apart from the true God. So he did not bow. I declare me and you will not bow for the devil. Why? Because if you do not bow, you only bow to the almighty God. He's the one that has the ability to do wonders in your life. Nobody else can. And nobody else will. Which the Lord has smiting among them. Upon their God also, the Lord executed judgment. Go and ask the people that are serving that God. When they brought the ark of God into the temple of Dagon, Dagon on the following day fell down. I declare every idol before you, as you obey the living God, they will fall. Amen. Uh, let me tell you, one way or the other, you all have, we all have one God or one goddesses that our ancestors was suffering before, before the light of Christ. These demons, they are very, very stubborn. And they will not let you go unless you are in agreement with the Almighty God to destroy their root in your life. And in this case, by the willingness and the ability to obey the instruction of the Almighty God, my son and daughter, this is what I want for you. You obey it, and then you have the power to destroy. I declare the Lord will destroy every demonic power in your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's the one that executed judgment upon the God of the Egyptian. The Egyptian God do not have power to prevent calamity. For the Egyptians. This is a food for thought. That the goddess of this war. Do not have any power. To prevent trouble. From you. Apart from the living God. The Tarome 32 verse 39. The Bible says. See now that I. Even I. I e. God says. And there is no God. With me. He said, I kill and I make a life, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. When God is fighting with somebody, that person should go back to God, not go to the idol because the idol has no power. Even the idol will be scattered by the, by the hangers of God. It is God, God alone. It is him that has power to save. I declare me and you will have the ability and the grace to submit our life to him in Jesus' name. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Can you battle with the Lord? Can you battle with the Lord? Can you battle with the Lord? I say nobody. That enemy within and without cannot battle with the Almighty God. Nobody can and nobody will. And I, dis and I destroy every power that wants to fight against your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. 
Deuteronomy 3:24. The Bible says, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness. God will show you his greatness. Amen. When you see the greatness of God, <laughs> you will understand what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. And the mighty hand, look at that, my sister, she was so excited. She was before holding to herself, holding to herself. Now, she came out boldly. What she doesn't want people to hear, she came out by herself and began to say, when the battle has been won, I declare, battle be won for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When one has happened in your life, he push you to talk. He make you to be bold as lion. Because there is nothing to be ashamed of. For God has done it. And we shall be glad. For God has faith for me. And I will laugh. So I say, you have done it for me. People will laugh with me. I declare greatness, wonder, science in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. When there is a breakthrough, people celebrate you. Nobody likes obscurity. Nobody wants to associate that with failure. Isn't it? But this God that we serve is a God that do wonder. I will do it for you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. That's what I had. The, the first day somebody said that. I began to look at that sentence. Say, Nobody want to. Then I wasn't doing well. Hallelujah. Then nobody want to have to say, wait, failure. I, I look. And I want to tell you, nobody likes rejection. Even though you are poor and proper, you still want people to accept you the way you are. Am I talking to somebody? So there is something in you that says, God, where is your face? When people say you are a month to nothing, my beloved brother, what should you do? You should go back to God that made you. Like that base. They say you are a child of pain. It did not take that one. He didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't fight with the, even his one beloved mother. How can you fight with your own beloved mother that named you the child of pain? <laughs> Hallelujah. Because of what she experienced, perhaps when she was giving back to him. But this guy trusts God. He went back to God. God, I do not want this name. The Bible says he was more honorable than all his brethren. I declare fire and seal into your bosom to go back to your maker. So that every failure in your life will be destroyed Amen. and you will celebrate in the name of the Lord. Somebody say, I will be celebrated. And you have come to a right place and at the right time, and the word of God is for you, for you to take the charge and go back to God and say, God, I am not created for failure, I am not created for sickness, I am not created for lack, I am not created for poverty, I am not created. For, to be non entity, but I am created to be great, to be healed, to be delivered, to be strong and do exploit. That will be your Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And a mighty hand for what God is there in heaven or in air that can do according to thy works and according to thy might. That's what Moses said. He compared all the gods. That was that you have seen. If you compare that, if you if there's another God in heaven, nobody can, can compare to the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you three points before we I go and conclude, and then we're gonna pray. Now I'm gonna minister to you because this is exactly what God told me to do for you. After this, I'm gonna minister to you. Number one point. God is to be worshipped. If you have not been worshipping God before and you want wonders to happen in your life, learn how to worship God. God is to be worshipped and to be adored as a being of source in vanity protection that there is no like him. Nor any to be compared with him. 
God cannot be compared to anyone. God must have preeminence over everything. Your life, your children, your husband, your wife, your money, your work, your church, your ministry, everything. God must have preeminence. Mina, he rules over everything. If you are still not worshipping God with all these things that I mentioned, you need to take courage today, right now. To begin to worship God with everything God has given to you. Why? Because he's the one that gave it to you and he gave it to you for a reason to worship him. Hello? Jesus Christ said, many will come in my name. He said, I do miracle, I do signs. He said, I don't know you. Hallelujah. I don't know you because you are a worker of war of iniquity. Jesus Christ said, a lot of people will come. He said, I want to say, he said, no. He said, when I am hungry, you did not walk, feed me. When I'm thirsty, you didn't give me water. I was in the prison, you didn't visit me. He said, we didn't see you. He said, ah, ah. you have not done it to the people that I've given to you. You didn't do it. You are not ministering to the people you're supposed to minister. You are not helping for the people you need to help. For example, hello, look at me, look at me, look at me. Hallelujah. It is the right of a man of God to get from the people that is pastoring. Hallelujah. Like a, you know, a worker is worthy of his wages. Hello. But no true servant of God should be a burden to all his followers. Hello. But that does not mean that the followers shouldn't know the writing for their own blessing. Do we understand the way? Spiritual matter is handled. Why? Because it is for our own good. So, minister of God is supposed to minister unto everybody according even to his own necessity. Hello? In the house of God, God gives you a brother as a brother, God gives you a sister as a sister, God gives you, you know, people. That you're supposed to minister, help to, assist and to. So God has placed you there and God has put them that they do not have so that you can meet their need. Either helping them for work, either helping them in their house, either helping them in their family, either helping them in their marriages, either helping them in counseling the decision that they did not know. Don't keep your mouth shut. Don't keep your pocket closed. Don't keep your, your brain you know, you know, you know. And all this thing God give unto us so that we can minister to other people so God can be so that God can be glorified. I declare God Almighty will help me are you in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 89. I read verse 7 to 9. The Bible says God is a greatly, God is greatly to be fear. I'm talking about God is to be worshipped. It's greatly to be fear. In the assembly of the saints, and to be had in reference of all them that are about him. Hey, the Bible says, O Lord God of hosts, who is strong, Lord, like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness run about thee. God is very faithful. Verse 9, he said. Thou rulest the ranging of the sea. When the wave thereof arose, arise, thou stilled them. I was walking somewhere not too long, not too far from here in Maryland this week, and I saw a terrible accident. A very terrible one. Hallelujah. And many times when you drive, you see all those terrible, terrible accidents that happened. And I keep in, I, I just, whenever I see that scene, I will start praying. Praying for everybody. I will remember people that are doing Uber. People, people that are walking, that are walking on the road. That I remember. I begin to pray for them. Every time, God will just prompt me to just begin to pray. And I'm afraid as a man. But there's nothing I can do than to commit the hand and the life of all this, every one of us, into the hand of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
For we must eat, we must walk. But the Bible says, redeem me every day, for every day is evil. Deliver her from evil. Uh, so that is why me and you should know that we're supposed to worship God with everything God has given to us. If we don't do it, who will? I pray the Lord will give us wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two, God is glorious in holiness. And he wants us to be holy too. You want the wonders of God. After you give him a befitting worship with everything God has given to you, try as much to live holy life. Holy. You don't play with the devil. In Yoruba, they say, They say, if you want to, if you want to die with the devil, your your spoon we you have a long uh, they don't, we are telling you that don't, they are telling you don't close to the devil. That's what they are saying, right? So that when you want to cast you, you will not quickly cast you. So you have a long, I mean, that is, that is life from the pit of air. The devil will cast you even on your bed. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to get a long spoon for him to cut, to cut you. Hallelujah. So that is why the Bible says we should flee from it. Every appearance of the devil. He said we should run away from it. You want wonders of God. This God that is called holy. The Bible says is glorious in holiness. That's what he said. So you want the glory of God to shine in your life. You must live a holy life. It's a must. You can't live holy life. But you want the wonders of God. Look, on, look at what Jesus Christ told that woman. I can't give the food of a child for a dog. I can't. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when you want the wonders of God, live holy life. I want you to pray to somebody by the side, my brother. When you want wonders of God to happen in your life, live a holy life. No, holiness. Is the glory of God. Trust me. You learn how to live holy life. You will be experiencing miracles of God per day, per day. Yes. Yes. Because you are bringing God into your life. And the Lord was with Joseph. And make everything does prosper. And when you look at the integrity of Joseph, you find out the reason why God was with him. If you are jealous in Joseph, can you do what Joseph has done? And the same thing you're supposed to do. Be holy. If I say be holy as I'm be holy. Now, this is a God that doesn't, he doesn't take a bribe. He say it's not a God that is corrupt. If it is somebody that calls his friend, when he messes up, he say, Abraham, walk before me and be perfect. So he expected holiness from you. Don't rationalize it and say, everybody is committing sin. So let me continue. And say, grace be upon Paul will say, God forbid. Holiness. It's his glory. And it is that attribute which the angels of God adore in heaven. The Lord will open our eyes as he opened the eyes of Isaiah Amen. and saw the holiness of God. In fact, as the angel of God worshiping in humble, and this man Isaiah was afraid and he penned down with the sight that he saw. Isaiah chapter 6, I read from verse 1. The Bible says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above he stood the cherubim, each one had six wings. With twins he covered his face, and with twins he covered his feet, and with twins did he fly. And one cried unto to another and say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The world earth is full of his glory. 
and the post of the door move at the voice of him that cry, and the house will fill with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of unclean people. Uh, uh, unclean people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. I declare, may your eyes be opened. Amen. And see the Lord of hosts in Jesus' name. Amen. There flew one of the cherubim unto me, which is the angel of God, having a live coal in his hand, which he has taken with the tongue from, the earth, from off the altar. Today, the Lord will impart your life. As we come to his presence. And he laid upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy lip, and thy iniquity is taken away. And that sin, Paul, I declare, may the Lord have mercy on you too, as he had it on Isaiah. And forgive your sin, that will not allow your prayer to be answered. Because when sin is taken out of the equation of man, it makes God to answer your prayer speedily. Holiness, hallelujah, is a requirement for the children of God. Uncleanliness, unholy, hallelujah, is a disaster for anybody that could bear the name of the Lord. For God is angry with sinner. How God will be angry with you? And you, when we have our children and they, and they offend us, we know how we treat them. And the same thing with God. I declare God Almighty will have mercy on us in Jesus' name. I bless you, Lord, you are holy. Holy Lord, and forever you are God. Now, the holiness of God appear in the destruction of Pharaoh. The holiness of God appear in his hatred for sin. The holiness of God appear in his wrath against obstinate sinner. Obstinate means stumbly refusing to change one opinion or choosing course of action. Despite attempt to persuade one to do so. When God is persuading you in his war, my son, repent. My son, don't do evil. But you continue in sin thinking that you can rationalize it and go free. I pray that you will not see the wrath of God. The holiness of God appear in the deliverance of Israel. His delight in the holy seed and his faithfulness to his promise. The holiness of God appear in his rich mercy. We have to say God is so rich in mercy. Hallelujah. And his and plenty of in, you know, in, uh, 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 plenty in mercy. The, the holiness of God appear in his glorious of worship and praises and in his honor. So let us always give thanks and remember that he is the one that is called the Holy God and bless him. The last one that I'm going to talk about. Number three, God is fearful in praises. God is fearful in praises. Though it is a joy to any children of God, servant of God, to enter into the court of God with praise. But let me tell you, whenever the enemy see you praising God with all your heart, enemy is in trouble. Because it will conflict them. It will destroy them. Silas and Paul was praising God. And the gate of the of prison was uh, you know was uh, you know uh, you know uh, was opened. Every gate of bars and bars of iron can be opened at their own accord. When the enemy lock you and you started praising God, this God that is fearful in praise, the enemy will be confused. And will be afraid. Strangers will be afraid out of their hidden places. I declare that will be your lot in Jesus' name. Amen. Every stranger in your life and family, the Lord will rule them out. Amen. It is praising God with your heart. 
It's a dreadful thing to the enemy. And it's a terrible thing to the sight of the enemy. Psalm 66. From verse 1, the Bible says, Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto the Lord, How terrible art thou in thy war through the greatness of thy power. Shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee? All the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. Come and see the work of God. He is terrible in his dream toward the children of men. I declare that the Almighty God will accept your praise. Yeah. Let me go and conclude and then we can pray. Now, this is what we should do. To worship, to praise God with a humble heart. With a holy heart. Especially when we need wonders. A miracle to happen in our lives. We should serve the law with all seriousness, with reference, and with a holy fear. If more, our spiritual joy and trial must be balanced with the glorious fear of God. He is doing wonder, He is glorious, and He is wonderful. God is omnipotent. That means it's all powerful. And I declare from now and onward, we begin to explain that powerful God in Jesus' name. Amen. Whenever I want to pray a prayer of blessing, I go to Psalm 24. Can you project this because I want to go and minister now? Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to Pay very close attention as I read this. Psalm 24, verse 1. He said, The earth is the Lord. Who owns the earth? The Lord. Who owns the earth? The Lord. That's what the Bible says. It's the Lord. And the fullness thereof. That means that everything that you see that you like in this world, who owns it? The Lord's holiness. Including you. And the thing that you want. The Bible goes for that. The war and they that war dwell therein. For he have founded it upon the sea and established upon the water. Upon the water. Upon the flood. Hallelujah. He now said. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? What is the answer? Let's read it together. He that hath a clean hand. Can I see your hand? I want to talk to you at your hand. Hand? I don't hear some people. Are you clean? I want you to minister into that your hand. Wash that your hand with the blood of Jesus that can cleanse that your sin and make them white as snow. Yes. Minister to that hand. Minister to that hand. He said, who we ascend into the hills of the Lord or who we stand in his holy place. He said, he that had a clean hand I declare this hand be washed by the blood of Jesus. Be kind in the name of Jesus. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. He said, and a pure heart. Put that your hand upon your heart and minister to that your heart. Blood of Jesus, wash my heart clean. Oh yeah, pray. Minister to that your heart. My heart I pray, wash them with the blood of Jesus. I wash my heart with the blood of Jesus. Every unclean thing there, be washed away with the blood of Jesus. Yes. And in Jesus' name, we pray. He said, who hath not lifted up 
is so unto vanity nor swan deceitfully. Hallelujah. What they shall do is shall receive the blessing of the law and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. It is God that bless, he will bless me and you. Amen. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek their face. Oh, oh God of Jacob. Hallelujah. And what? Lift up your hands, O ye gay, and be lifted up, ye everlasting door, and the king of glory shall come in. When the enemy say, no way, God will say, lift up your head. Let's stand up on our feet. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty is stronger than the strongest. The Lord mighty in battle. Who can battle with him? Nobody. Lift up your head, O ye gay. Even leave them all your everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. He said, who is the king of glory? Who is the king of glory? The Lord of all is the king of glory. That glory God will come into your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, it shall be. Oh, yeah, sing it to yourself. In Jesus' name. In our life, what the Lord has done for me. of the living God I'm ministering to your life now every good thing that God has done for you today shall be permanent Amen. that good favor that God has brought into your life shall be permanent in your life Amen. every sicknesses and disease be healed in the name of Jesus 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 in the name of Jesus come to the front I anoint you with the blessings of the Lord. Anointing to continue to grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord. Beauty for asses. All of joy for the spirit of heaviness. Continue to shine as illuminator. Anoint your life. The glory of God shall rest upon you. Anointing for favor and increase. The glory of God shall be upon your life. Amen. More grace and anointing. Amen. You are highly blessed and faithful. Amen. Be healed and delivered. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Use your hand to touch it. Receive the anointing for favor. In the name of Jesus. You are highly exalted. You are highly favored in Jesus' name. Power to grow in grace and the knowledge of God. Let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. You are highly lifted and exalted. Receive your blessing. In the name of Jesus. That anointing of God shall overshadow you. Anoint you with the blessings of the Lord. Continuing to shine for the Lord. Anoint you with the grace of God. Grow in grace and the knowledge of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will beautify your life. And make you shine for the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, you continue to grow in grace and the knowledge of the living God and nothing for success upon your life in Jesus' name. Continue to shine for the glory of God. You shall continue to shine. You shall not die and live. I declare the Almighty God will bless you and increase you and favor you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I declare the Lord will deliver you from the pit of air. So shall it be. The Lord will wash over you and grant unto you your heart desire. More grace and anointing. I declare wisdom upon your life. Anointing, anointing to exert all the days of your life. Receive power to grow in grace and the knowledge of the living God. You will reach your goal. I declare power of Almighty your God upon you. The Lord will have mercy and kindness over you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will honor you and bless you on every side. So shall it be grace upon your life and continue to increase so shall it be the Lord will beautify your life the Lord will make you to shine the grace of God shall be upon you shall surround you all the day of your life 
The power of the Almighty God shall overshadow you. You will be celebrated. The Lord Almighty will anoint you. No power from the pit of hell will have access over your life. The Almighty God will establish your feet. The Lord will make you to triumph. The Lord will continue to be happy with you. The Lord will make you to rejoice. The Lord will favor you. The Lord will catapult you to higher heights. So shall it be. The power of the living God will surround you. The Lord will be with Joseph, shall be with you here. The Almighty God will be, give you beauty for asses, all of joy for the spirit of heaviness. Affliction shall not rise again the second time. I declare by the Almighty God upon your life, beauty for asses over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Peter, the anointing of Peter shall be upon you. Le masutu ye leba. La masutu ye lihu. The Lord will increase you. I pray for wisdom and understanding for you. Receive in Jesus' name. The Lord Almighty bless you. Increase you on every side. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord Almighty will heal you. The Lord will bless you. In the name of Jesus. The favor of God shall be upon you. The Lord Almighty will help you. Le masata kala ba yi li munko no mo suntu mo yi li ha. The anointing of greatness, the anointing of wisdom and understanding shall be upon each and every one of us. So shall it be. I receive in the name of Jesus. I believe in the name of Jesus. And that status in the name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hand for the Lord. Clap your hand for the Lord. Clap your hand for the Lord. I declare that anointing shall make you to go to places. It will pave way for you. Anointing soft, soft things. I declare everything that is hardened before shall be resolved. They shall be solved. Everything that has been strong and tired before, the Lord has lubricated them. There shall be an easy life for you. Easy life for you. Financially. Easy life for you. Numerically. Easy life for you. Spiritually. Easy life for you. Academically. Easy life for you. Stretch that your hand forward. That are nothing that you have received upon your hand and upon your head. So continue to destroy the works of the enemy. The Bible says. When Samuel anointed David, the spirit of the Lord comes upon him. The spirit of the Lord that came upon David, the day that Samuel anointed him. That spirit of the Lord come upon you now. We are talking about power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. That is what makes your life different than the people that do not have the power. I declare that power of the most high God. The power of God the Almighty. The Holy Spirit of God. Rise over you. Yeah. Overshadow you. Yeah. Prosper you. Yeah. Increase you. Yeah. Elevate you. Yeah. Heal you. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah. And make you great. Yeah. So shall you be. Yeah. Hold that somebody. Hold somebody by your side. Hold somebody by your side. I declare we shall all make heaven. Yeah. By the grace of God. None of us will lose heaven. None of us will miss heaven. Come with me. We shall overcome. Every enemy within. Every enemy without. Enemy of our father out. We are overcoming. Enemy of our mother's out. We are overcoming. Enemy of our inner house. We are overcoming. In the name of Jesus. Is there anyone that is appointed to die? Has scattered the blind in the name of Jesus. Our God, the God of wonder, is the one that made the final to mad. Every diviner, a special power, power of necromiser, power of witches and wizards, that are waging or shooting arrow, I bad that arrow to die in the name of Jesus. No arrow will penetrate into our life, into our family, into our business, into our finances. I bad that arrow to send that. No more sickness, no more pain, no more poverty, no more lie, no more failure in your life, in my life. Pentecost may receive the anointing to grow, begin to grow, begin to grow, begin to accept for now and forever. Thank you, Lord. 
I remember people that are not here. I declare the Lord will bless them too. Amen. And people that are watching online, may the Lord bless you. Amen. Every one of us, I pray for testimony. Amen. Testimony galore. Amen. Even in July Amen. and August Amen. and September Amen. and October Amen. and November Amen. and December. Amen. Even forever. Amen. Prison upon prison, Amen. land upon land. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. It is said. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And that sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. I must share this testimony. One of our uh, follower and lover of this uh, church gave us a thousand dollar. He wired it from London. <laughs> Say, this is my our support for this going work. God bless you. And uh, our anchor, he gave power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Amen. Shout to the power. Hallelujah. 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 Let it go to seven. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Enjoy your day.